Last time on The Fermentation Diaries. I've had the sourdough starter for almost a year now. I mean, I was so excited to get it, but just also terrified that I would screw it up. This is sugar. <laughs> I don't have flour. Two things of white flour <laughs> and no wheat flour. I really hope this deflates. I am actually really afraid. I think he needs a bowl. When life gives you dried sourdough starter, you make bread. I'll learn something new no matter what. Okay. I will be back at like 6.30 and we'll make some bread. And now for the exciting uh, next part. You think it's underbaked? Yeah. Uh, uh, what went um, wrong? I don't know. I'm sure you're wondering how we ended up here. And honestly, I kind of am too. Editing Shayna here, by the way. As you watch this video, I'm sure you're going to notice some things that I do wrong. So feel free to comment those below. Let's start at the beginning of the story. This loaf of bread begins with a migraine. Good morning. It has been one week since the first time that I fed Banquo. And I am not fearing, feel, I am not feeling very well today. In fact, I kind of haven't been feeling very well this week. So instead of baking Banquo on the last day that I did his first big feeding, I actually put him in the refrigerator so that he would chill out for a while. Last night, I realized it was about time for me to actually bake this lovely homemade sourdough bread. I took him out of the refrigerator, portioned him out, discarded the rest, and then fed and watered him according to the directions that accompanied the sourdough starter. Today I am going to be following a recipe I found online. I will link it below. It's going to be a long day of occasionally kneading the dough, so let's get started. Sixty minutes or um, however long it takes me to get my strength back. I'm gonna go take some migraine medication now. Okay, it's been like 40 minutes and I have sort of gotten dressed because I have a work meeting in 10 minutes. So let's do this quickly, yeah? You know, it doesn't look very different. Oh, I'll show you. Hello. Do, 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 do. And then this recipe specifically calls for table salt, which I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but okay. Time to get the dough. Up. Okay, I'm gonna have to check the recipe. Give me a second. Okay, I guess we just mix. So bad news, I just checked the measurement cup again and um, I've used not nearly enough flour. So um, give me a second. So if this is actually half a cup instead of a whole cup, then I've only put in a cup and a quarter, and so I just need to do that again. So let's do this again. Yes, good. Feel the gluten course through you. I'm gonna call that probably done. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh my God, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never made bread and tried to make it right before. 
Okay, that still looks too soft, I guess. Okay, just, just a little bit more, a little bit more, it'll be fine. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna call that. I just, I, the recipe is supposed to be for low kneading dough. Okay, that's a ball, that's, that's fine, right? Ugh, I don't know. Whoa, I just got like a whiff of something that actually smelled like sourdough. Shocking. Yeah, that there is like sourdough bread smell. Ooh, bread. It's getting to the point where I can't even pretend I know what I'm doing anymore. Mm. Okay, so the recipe says oil a bowl. And I'm just gonna be using canned gnostic spray because I can't be bothered to get my actual canola oil out of the pantry. Oh my goodness, this is so sticky. Yeah, okay, see why I need the oil. Yeah. Now I wish I had a bowl scraper. That would be a good investment at this point. <clears throat> and then the recipe wants me to attempt to flip this over to get oil on the other side. But I'm, just to be safe, I'm also gonna do this because why not? It just feels so sticky. Whoop, no, 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 come here. Okay, there we go. Um, and now I have fingerprints in there. Yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, and then I believe we cover this and let it rest again while I go to my meeting. Okay. I have come to a decision that I am not actually going to finish this bread today. The recipe actually states a time when you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator to rest overnight, and originally I was going to skip that as the recipe says I can, but I'm just not feeling it. So let's do the needs. Risen, so hopefully I didn't ruin the yeast situation too much by uh, not putting in enough flour at first. According to the recipe online, uh, not only does this whoop, function as kneading, but it also redistributes the yeast, which I've never heard of, but that's okay. Whoop! I do not know everything there is to know about bread. In fact, I would say I know hardly anything. Cool, uh, I think it's another half an hour, maybe it's another hour. I don't know, uh, but I'll be back when the recipe says I should come back. And in case you're wondering, I am using a damp uh, like kitchen towel because binging with Babish says to do that in his videos and he seems to know more than I do. Hopefully this is the last time. Let's see. started baking bread as a kid. That tactileness is wonderful. Okay, the recipe says to cover tightly and refrigerate overnight. Let's do it.
it smells like sourdough. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, it held its shape pretty good that time. Definitely should have bought the parchment paper. What happened? Uh, chaos, it's fine. Um, what? What is that? was hot. Jeez. Okay. It looks awful. What's wrong? Um, Okay, I absolutely have to leave for my restaurant reservation now, so I'm just going to check the bread and hope that it's good enough. <laughs> It sure is a bread. Maybe it'll taste amazing. <laughs> That's pretty doughy. <laughs> I think Paul Hollywood would be upset with that. You think it's underbaked? Yeah. Uh, that's really underbaked. Oh. The ends are probably good. Give me an end. Don't cut yourself. Oh, it's pretty doughy too. Oh, okay. What went oh. wrong? So there you have it, the journey of the first loaf of bread that I've made for my sourdough starter. Obviously it didn't work out exactly how I would have liked it to, but that's okay. We're here to learn and you know, I have more sourdough starter, I have more flour. It's going to be okay. I'm going to make a good loaf of bread eventually. If you want to keep up with this journey, uh, feel free to subscribe down below and uh, turn on notifications. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>